to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I greatly appreciate it. So today will be a little bit of a longer video. So make sure that um, I'm showing all fabrics. And so make sure that, hey, you got me playing in the background, but you can kind of see me. You know how we do that. Stream videos while we're doing other things and, <laughs> and stuff like that. So yeah, pull up a chair. So welcome everybody to the channel. For those who are new to the channel, I upload every Sunday and Wednesday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. So yeah, make sure if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Don't forget to thumbs up this video. I will have a video up on Sunday, which will be a collaboration. It's also the sewing buzz, but part of that will be a, a collaboration reveal. So I'm quite excited about that. Um, and I was able to use a pattern I had anyway. You'll see that on Sunday. Very good. So, so fun. But um, as you can see, so in my video um, on Sunday, you would have seen me uh, reveal this dress, which is McCall 7624. This is the subscriber pick for the month of uh, October. So last month. And so you're now seeing this. Uh, this should be November 1st that you're seeing this video. And so, yeah, go check it out. Thank you all for the lovely, lovely comments. I have to finish catching up on my comments. But uh, one of the things I want to say is I had named my dress form and it was going to be a uh, purple dame because you all know purple is my favorite color. And the dame part is part of the name, my name of my channel, which is because I absolutely love great dames because I had a great dame. Um, but um, I decided I can't think of her name. Um, if I can, um, remember to put it on the screen, I will. Uh, she suggested, uh, what was it? Royal Dane or something like that. But I, her comment made me change the name. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We are calling her Lady Dane. This is Lady Dane. Now the dress woman is Lady Dane y'all Lady Dane. So Lady Dane is back there. Um, in all her glory. So yeah, my videos, I'll probably, I'm trying to figure out how frequent I will show or use the dress form. But for now, I like the idea of put you, let me all, let me know what you think. I was thinking like in some of my videos, I can just have her back there with something that I worked on or something that is coming up on the channel. And it can, she can just be, you know, showcasing it in the background, doing little teasers for you. So let me know, let me know what you think. So let's get into it. So I have everything over here right next to me. So I'll be reaching down um, for the different fabrics. I want to go relatively fast um, because there's a lot for those who are wondering what am I talking about. If you saw my video, it should have been a week from the day you're seeing this. I did a video of a Bernina machine that um, was sent to me um, and uh, it was partially a gift, but I also, uh, I want to make sure I also mention, I am going to give, uh, something to them, um, honorable for everything that they sent me. So yeah, I just wanted to put that out there, you know, so people know that, but yes. Um, and with that came a lot of stuff. You all saw that, but it was a bunch of fabric as well. And so I asked if anybody was interested, I'd do a separate video just on the fabric by itself. Um, because I didn't want that video to be too long and only a couple people said, yeah, we want to know. So those two or three people that say, yeah, we want to see the fabric. This is for you. <laughs> So if you're not interested in seeing this, the fabric that I received, uh, go ahead and again, make sure you're subscribing. Come on back on Sunday. I'll have a new make for you. So let's get going. This is a brocade. It is a gold color. Yeah, this is coming off true to color here. So I, yeah, I won't show it too close to the camera. Um, but yeah, this is the color and this is a brocade. Um, this is the back of it absolutely stunning very beautiful so i have um it almost look it's about it is yeah i would say it's i would say it's a little less than 45 inches wide um maybe it's 40 inches wide but it is absolutely beautiful i have not cleaned any of this yet so this will be my cue to um prep things for uh for cleaning i won't clean the brocade um 
at the moment any of the pieces that that is a brocade i won't clean that right now um because i don't know exactly what i will use it for and if i make jackets or use it for something like that i probably won't clean it prior to i don't know we shall see this is a silk um and this looks like this was it's absolutely beautiful it was something i don't know what it was um because it is and see it's it's not open it's made into something it looked like almost a table runner it's absolutely beautiful because it has the fringe on the end so i do like that that is beautiful and so that can definitely be something because it is two pieces so i can so you can see i can pull it apart so um i can do something with it i'm not sure what but we this will be something <laughs> um but absolutely beautiful and then this was the uh i have quite a bit of this this was the uh curtains i think this will be so nice as a uh skirt um even a jacket of some sort because um this is what it looks like so this is the front right and then this is the back so yeah this was i don't know if his mom made these i'm not sure it almost looked like it um but it's beautiful absolutely beautiful so um that is um another piece that i thought um and if you all have any suggestions or any uh, thought comes to your mind while you see any of these pieces definitely uh leave them down um below but yeah i can tell these were uh curtains because then it was the um the tie back when you tie back curtains also in there um this was some beautiful lace uh i thought this was pretty isn't that gorgeous let me hold it back this way yeah that's more true to color it's a nice baby um baby pink that can be an accent of some sort or yeah something like that so definitely a lot of creative opportunities you all remember i showed you this this is this is so beautiful this is a skirt and i found the waistband to it remember i showed you that but oops i'm holding it upside down so this is the skirt and i'm gonna keep it a skirt and so the waistband um did i misplaced the waistband already um it's in here um and everything but isn't that beautiful look at that absolutely gorgeous so yeah she was making this and there was just the zipper that needed to go in and um the waistband because i had found the waistband too so i thought that was absolutely beautiful um and then we have this is black and it almost feels like a taffeta but i'm thinking this here can be a skirt like a um you know like a holiday like a a, a a gathered circle skirt of some sorts with a nice uh, thick waistband um maybe two inch waistband so that's not so thick but there's a lot of it and so i thought that this will definitely be nice as a skirt for sure a circle skirt and um i don't know what type of fabric any of this stuff is i'm just kind of taking a guess with some of the pieces um that i'm coming across and then this 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 is a crepe satin back crepe so see that side and then you have the satin side isn't that gorgeous oh that color that color is absolutely beautiful and so um this is probably 57 inches wide and i think i have a yard and a half of this this is gorgeous and yes this is a satin back uh crepe and for this oh I need to find a top that I'm in love with and make it. Um, that would be gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So beautiful. And then this here is an upholstery um, fabric. This, um, let's see here. This, oh, these are curtains. Another set of curtains because you can see the, the detail. See that detail? And then you can see the, the wrong side of that. Wouldn't that be a beautiful coat? Let me hold it up so you can see. 
if you cut it just right it could be a short jacket not like a full length coat but i could see this being a beautiful beautiful jacket and the way that um i'll have to see how she applied it if that's um because it's not that trim is not glued across all the way it's glued down because i'm 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 actually uh, able to peel it apart um, but it wasn't glued all the way down it's like every few inches then there was some glue and there was attached and so I can definitely see taking that trim off and then using this to make some kind of short-waisted jacket I think that would be cute because it's, it's heavy enough is that it is not anything else I would use this for other than um, a lightweight jacket so that's that I'm almost done um, and then I remember this again see a lot of the brocade I see as skirts or jackets and so this is another one isn't that gorgeous I'll hold this up closer beautiful absolutely beautiful and the wrong side of it this is the wrong side of it isn't that beautiful oh so so beautiful so so beautiful so um another beautiful brocade love 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 and then this here is it feels like some kind of it will make beautiful lining fabric whatever this is it's it feels like a satin it really does it feels like a satin let me show you the back like i said obviously i don't know specifically what any of this is but it is really nice and that's the front side so but it feels beautiful where it is nice for lining in something um like it would just be perfect for that and it's a ton it is a ton of this it is a ton of this so this will be nice for i will definitely keep that for lining um maybe lining uh, different things of that nature because I like the weight of it it's not it looks it feels almost like it won't you know have a lot of issues you know how some linings can be the acetate that real extra polyester stuff just um, a hot mess to work with that actually doesn't feel like that and then this was this looked like it's a couple pieces of this in there um I'm not sure what this was but I love it <laughs> isn't that pretty <laughs> look at that and I have um, a couple pieces of that so there's enough to do something like this also looks like it can be a jacket also looks like it could be a jacket it could be a lot of this stuff because it I see a couple curtains and stuff in here that a lot of this was um, different things maybe some projects um, his mom was working on for um, home decor uh, but I'm not certain because she made garments quilts you know home decor the the whole gamut and remember this one i said i would keep as a top i can't fit it but it feel like i'm not far off from it i think this is absolutely beautiful so this will stay in its state absolutely love that initially i thought when she showed it to me in the uh video um that i would um cut that front part out and use it for something else and then we have this i'm not sure what this was either but i absolutely love that look at that design isn't that beautiful absolutely beautiful that is just beautiful not sure what i would do with that i feel like almost that could be um part of a handbag design like you can cut around that for a handbag design um yeah and i have plenty of handbag patterns as you all know um this here uh i can tell this is upholstery an upholstery weight fabric it's not much of it it's almost a yard it looks like so yeah not sure what um i would do with do with that this actually actually i do know what i would do with this this will be perfect um lining for a handbag absolutely perfect lining for a handbag or a tote this will be good for um i'm getting there y'all i'm getting there. oh i had a couple pieces of that 
Ooh, look at this. This looks like it might, she might have had, actually these were all folded together. These were folded together. So it was this, this, and this folded together. And for sure, this is just like that gold where this is some kind of lining that's nice. And then that's more of that gold. And then this, she probably was working on maybe a home project, but this could be a lining inside of a handbag. And then this is lining for garments. I will use this for, I know the, the uh, sun is going in and out, but yeah, I would definitely so nice. Oh, and when I saw this, you guys, this, I have never owned anything this color before and it has butterflies all over it. Look at that. Look at, and it's in my color palette, but look it's so rich i hope it's coming across as rich as it as it looks i don't know if it is or not but it's a rich royal blue and this is also some kind of brocade because see here's the back look at that isn't that gorgeous that is gorgeous that is so that is gorgeous i love that I feel like that has to be a jacket. And why do I like the idea of making jackets out of like brocades and stuff like this? Because I will have it for a long time. Um, <clears throat> I'm usually hesitant to make clothes out of stuff like this. Um, because you all know with me and my uh, weight loss and, and different things like that, then it's just sitting there. And, um, and you all know I'm not one to adjust and take stuff apart and alter. That's just not me. So I'd rather um, make something that I know that I can keep using. Or if I do a circle skirt with a flat front waistband and the back is elastic, then yeah, because then it'll be easy to adjust the elastic in the back you can keep making it tighter or whatever then that type thing is easy to adjust but i wouldn't make anything complicated um other than maybe a jacket and there is plenty of this oh we i'm thinking i got like three yards possibly four no three this is probably three yards all oh, this is absolutely gorgeous 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 i promise i'm almost at the end um, oh, some more. Oh, I got a lot of, um, <laughs> I got a lot of, uh, lining fabric, you guys. Here's some red. Oh, this is beautiful. And it's the same type of satin, whatever this is, it's the same kind and absolutely beautiful. So yes, that will be lining fabric. Um, this feels, it's a waterproof something. This is a, I don't know what this is. It's, it's very thin. It's almost like a shower curtain weight. Like it's some kind of vinyl. That's what I feel like. It's some kind of vinyl. And this is absolute. I love this color. This cut. Ooh, that's my color. But um, that is beautiful. I'm not sure what I... Yeah. This is something for a handbag. Um, that's the type of weight. Like a raincoat. Like you can make a rain jacket out of this. And there's not enough. There's not even enough for me to attempt to do. Yeah, because she used some of it. Um, oh, that's nice. Okay. So I will say this because this can also be used as lining in the handbag. And because of the weight of this, I could interface it if I wanted to I probably wouldn't inside it depends on the handbag um I probably wouldn't because that's nice and um it's a nice sturdiness to it but it's still soft um it's a nice weight love that love 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 um then we have this I'm not sure what this is oh this is some kind of um what do you call it velvet maybe yeah that's what that is. That's nice. It's not much of this. This would also, so I'm going to have piles for stuff I would use for handbags and a pile for um, garments. And so this will go into my, um, hmm, it could go either way. Because this could be trim of some sort on a garment, 
like say a collar or sleeve cuff, something like that, this could be. Um, but my initial thought was I would use this in my handbag making, something with my handbag making for sure. Cause you know, just different bag patterns as I'm going through this stuff is popping through my head. So, and then this, uh oh, I think these are scarves. So there's this scarf here. You can see that. So there's this scarf here. Then I have this scarf here, which is, oh, look, look at that. That is gorgeous. That's absolutely beautiful. Oh, that's beautiful. That is, I'm not sure what I would use that for. <clears throat> and then, oh, this will make nice um, pocket. This is a um, another, you can tell she surged all the way around it, or I would say not surge, she did the um, rolled hem. You can tell on the serger all the way around it. And so this can definitely be um, lining a pocket of some pants, something like that is just enough for that. Um, and then, I, like I said, I'm almost done. Then I have this, let me see, had that. And then some of this, my mother will probably be interested in as well. More, um, this is, uh, I can tell this is a polyester <clears throat> of some sort. This was bought, this was purchased because I see a tag on here. Um, but for me, lining for pockets, that's what I would definitely use that for. And um, this I would use for lining for something as well. This was purchased. I can see the tag on this. Um, but also yellow. Yeah, there's how that, and this just a large square. So that is good. Um, and then, oh, this is cute. It has some purple in it. Um, this here is a, looks like a, nope, it's a long square. So I'm not sure what I would use that for. You all definitely give me some um, ideas if you think of anything for these smaller um, pieces other than what I'm saying, which is lining. And then I, there's more. So there's more of the scarves. Here's another one. It's kind of blue. And then this one. Also beautiful. And then there is, so this here stuff, like stuff like this will definitely be pocket, uh, um, lining for pockets and stuff. That's definitely what I would use stuff like this for. So like on dresses and everything. Oh, this is a larger piece of that velvet. So there's actually more of that here. Oh, now see that will make a good circle skirt for sure. Cause then, like I said, that's easy to adjust. So I do have more of that. I just show the other piece. So only a couple pieces left, you guys. Hang in there with me. I'm just gonna show these real quick cause these are all small pieces. This is like a bandana. Um, here's a, another piece. Let me see, hold that up. These, this type of thing, like I said, that is definitely pockets that I can use for, um, oh, I like that. So stuff like this, I like having, <clears throat> cause then I don't have, when I, when I have smaller pieces like that, I like having that because then I can just use it for pocket pieces as opposed to, you know how you have a yard or a yard and a half of fabric and all you need is a, to cut out a pocket piece to go to something. Stuff like this is primo in your stash because that's what you can use um, as opposed to cutting into something that you don't nest then once you cut into it it's like oh now you got this big large piece that you're not quite sure what to do with um this is uh i don't know what this is this looks like a scarf of some sort and then um oh yeah this is beautiful oh look at this I don't think I would want to cut into this. It says, Wyoming, a wonderful place. <laughs> that is nice. Or like I said, at the very least, it will be pockets. It will be pockets. Um, and still more. See, it's more, it's a lot of 
cut it's a lot of and this was purchased it's a lot of pieces like this all of that is perfect for pockets same thing with this perfect for pockets blue same thing perfect for pockets again same thing perfect for pockets yeah i'm gonna have to wash all of this because stuff that i because we put pockets in our dresses and pants and stuff again perfect for pockets and um i'm not sure how much of this will hold a crease i'll have to play with it and kind of look at these because if i can get bias binding out of um any of these that's square like this that would be awesome as well um then there's a gray piece just like that and also this is another piece this will be um pretty also for pocket i mean it's just a small it's just something small but it's big enough where you can get if you cut your pocket piece out of it you're good and then same thing with this this is a satin of some sort that um i'm not sure if this was probably a table runner but it's lightweight pocket pieces that's all i'm seeing for pieces like this yeah yep for sure this is not quite enough like if you have a button band see that um if you have a button band you know how you had to placket it or something um if those uh if there's enough to do that with and this is it that's the empty emptied out my bag so just these last couple pieces here see there again yeah yes yes it's nice to have stuff this size so when you need pockets or you know accents like that same thing you just have something you can quick grab and so for me the way i would store that that type thing after i wash it is have it in in my um my uh shelf over here that has all my fabric you all seen that um i will have a basket with all of that those squares in it so i know yep i can go right in there and pick something out to uh make my pocket same here can you see that yeah same here same here and the very last piece <laughs> which is a small one like i say again pockets so that is it everybody thank you so much for tuning in today and for those who uh stayed to the, throughout the video i know this was a little bit of a longer video but this also gave me the opportunity to see everything and i also wanted to share with you the remember the bernina case well the bottom of the case um actually i said it's so deep remember this and I'm taking the, by the way, I'm taking the Bernina machine into the Bernina shop near me. And I'll give you a report on, on the status of that. But what I come to learn is that it's deep. Remember I showed you, because at the, on the top, it was all those buttons and everything. And I said, oh, this is deep. I don't think there's a compartment underneath. Actually, I was told, yes, there is. There is a drawer that pulls out. And in there, you can't tell. I don't want to tip it over. It is a gang of buttons underneath there. <laughs> like so many buttons. And so, love it, love it, love it. So I, yeah, I got buttons. I shouldn't have to buy another button, huh? Um, but anyway. <laughs> but, um, so I just wanted to share that with you. But, um, yeah, I'll give you guys an update. Um maybe by the time my sewing buzz video goes up you will have an update because i will be taking the machine in um because remember i said i wanted to have it serviced but uh so yeah i'll keep you posted but that is it thank you all so much for tuning in today i greatly appreciate it. i hope you enjoy all of the lovely fabrics it was a lot right so I am truly thankful and grateful. And I'll say here at the end of the video, um, I was asked a few times and I have been asked off and on over the, uh, you know, couple years about donating to the channel. Um, and so besides that, I don't even know if that's still there, the thanks button, 
below the screen of the video if you can do that but i did create um a donation tab on my website it's on my contact page that is there so if anybody wants to just send a donation or something like that um in support of so natural day i greatly appreciate it and so that is over on my contact page i will leave a link to that down below but thank you all i really really do appreciate it you all have a wonderful, fantastic rest of your week, and I will see you on Sunday. Bye.